What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm gonna be talking about if the iPhone XS Max is worth buying in 2020. Okay, so we are getting closer to the new year, so you might be thinking about buying a new iPhone. I can tell you the XS Max has been one of my favorite phones all time for, you know, playing games and watching videos. Now, I wanted to put the iPhone 11 next to the XS Max because I wanted to talk about some of the design differences um, and really spec differences if you were gonna go with the 11 Pro Max or just stick with the XS Max. Now, on the newer iPhones, the real uh, differences, the only two differences in my opinion, you know, you've got the upgraded camera on the newer iPhones, and then of course you've got that upgraded processor but other than that you know the phones are basically the same uh, you know they've got glass designs the fronts of the phones are the same so if you were new at the uh, Pro Max version um, and at the 10s Max you know it's still got the same 6.5 inch OLED display so basically you'd be looking at the same display if you were new with the uh, Pro Max version all right so I'm gonna get this iPhone 11 out of here but um, right now uh, the biggest thing is gonna be price so you can actually get the uh, 10s Max, the 64 gig for like right around 650 to 700 right now. But if you were gonna go with that Pro Max version, that thing is expensive. I mean, it's gonna be at least 300 plus dollars more. And you're not really looking at a whole lot of differences. You know, this phone still takes great pictures. Um, you know, it's still a very fast phone. It's got the same screen, 6.5 inch OLED display. So, you know, do you really wanna pay that extra 300 plus dollars for, you know, kind of like the same thing in my opinion. There's really not that much of a difference. Um, anyways, uh, I will have the uh, pricing down there if you guys wanted to pick this one up, unlocked on Amazon Renewed, which I, I do recommend getting it there if you have the money to just purchase your iPhone outright. Um, I do want to do some more COD Mobile gameplay, um, you know, on this phone with, of course, my uh, go-to controller over here, which is the uh, Jet Set Mobicon. This thing's awesome. Uh, you know, currently I've been, you know, playing a lot of games with it, but I just wanted to showcase some of the uh, 10S Max, obviously, here uh, as far as, like, you know, gaming on it, you know, the, the sound quality. This is a very loud phone. I'm gonna get this thing jacked up so we can, uh, you know, hear it on full blast. And of course, we'll get into a match here on COD Mobile. Now, no matter what phone you're currently using, uh, you know, using a gaming controller, you know, if you're a hardcore mobile gamer like myself, I feel like it's a must right now. Uh, this one has just been my go-to controller for, you know, COD Mobile, PUBG, Fortnite, etc. You get the idea here, but, uh, we're gonna get into a match. Um, if you have any questions about the 10s Max or really any iPhones right now, feel free to message me below. I'll get back to you. I'll give you my honest opinion about it. But you know, I still think, like I said, using uh, the 10s Max like over the 11 Pro Max, you'd be saving yourself <clears throat> a ton of money, and uh, there aren't gonna be a whole lot of differences. Honestly, I mean, it's it's the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's get some shots in here. Let's do our thing. Uh, I'll get that volume turned up again. All right, we are getting into a match. Hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, as you're watching it, smash that like button for me. I would uh, appreciate it, and uh, we're gonna do our thing here. All right, it's COD mobile time. Let's do this. Oh man, come on, dude. That guy got me. I was trying to get ready for him, but. Man, that guy was fast. Jesus. I'll tell you what, players are definitely getting better in this game. It's, uh, competition's getting pretty hard. Two kills right there, two kills. That's how we do it. Three kills. I think I'm gonna go around the other way here. All right, we got three kills in a row right now. I don't wanna screw that up. God, that guy is fast over here, man. I don't know what gun he's using, but he's just, he's destroying us in that corner. I'm gonna have to figure something out.
You know, I was trying to be patient, but of course I get killed from behind. Come on, man. Okay, anyways, when you are gaming on this phone, I mean, having this big display definitely makes it, you know, a lot better, for sure. Wow. All right, we had a, we were starting off pretty good, but now it's just getting, it's getting ugly. All right, finally we got, oh man, there was two. Oh man. Yeah, I, I don't know how my team's winning. I'm getting killed quite a bit right now. I mean, I have a few kills, but... Jesus. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? I got a kill there. This is, uh, this is a tough match right now. I, uh, I just got flamethrowed right there. That actually just happened. Kind of speechless. You know, I just had a feeling someone was going to come from behind and try to kill us right there, and, you know, my gut instinct was basically right. I'm going to switch over to a shotgun. Maybe we can get a close-up kill. Or not. Man, that guy has just been destroying everybody in that corner. All right, nice try, dude. Uh, it's a pretty close match, but I'm, I kind of have a feeling my team is not going to be able to win this one. It's not looking so great. Reloading! Cover me! We're losing this fight. Are you, you gotta be kidding me, man. I totally just swiped that. Uh, all right, well, we got defeated there. Um, you know, kind of up and down in that match, but uh, that team was actually pretty good. All right, anyways, let's get out of this for a second. So just to kind of recap here though, you know, on the uh, 10S Max, like if it's worth buying, you know, in 2020, I gotta tell you that, uh, this phone, you know, you'd be saving yourself a lot of money because there's not a lot of difference here. I mean, you've basically got 
a lot of the same designs on here as far as like the all glass same 6.5 inch OLED display so you're getting like the same display on this phone uh, you know the processor is gonna be a little slow but even with all that you can save over 300 plus dollars getting the 10s max over the 11 Pro Max all right so anyways I'll throw some links down there if you want to check out the latest prices for this phone on Amazon uh, also I'll throw a link down there if you want to check out that gaming controller which is awesome all right so please smash the like button on this if you haven't subscribed to us hit that subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.